Well, hey, gang, Daryl Davis coming here to talk to you about designing a life worth smiling about. And I want to talk to you about your inner circle. An African tribe does the most beautiful thing. What they do is when someone does something hurtful or wrong, they take that person to the center of town and the tribe surrounds them. Then they beat the hell out. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't say that. What they now do when they're standing in the circle for two days, they tell this person every good thing that they've ever done in their life. See, the tribe believes that every human being comes into the world as good. Each of us desiring, sa desiring safety, love, happiness, and, and, and peace. But sometimes in the pursuit of those things, people make mistakes. So the tribe bands together for the sake of their fellow tribes person to hold them up, to reconnect them to their true nature, to remind them who they really are until they fully remember the truth from which they had been temporarily did, been disconnected from. But what a powerful concept where you have a group of people so committed to the success of the one individual that if they get astray, they make mistakes, they come together almost like a, an intervention <laughs> to support them, to empower them. And I started thinking about our inner circle. Every one of us should have that inner circle. That one or two person in your life that you can confide anything and everything in with them and that they're they're so committed to you and to your success to your well-being that if you can have just one or two people in your life that sees the greatness in you when you don't see it yourself and that person speaks to that greatness in you not to the concerns or worries or insecurities that you have that they don't see that because they see the real you if you've got that one or two person in your life you will be so much more successful in anything that you do. So look at who is in your inner circle. And with that said, if we've got some of those negative people in our lives that want to drain us or hurt us or, or suck the life force out of us constantly, don't have those people be in your inner circle. Not even an outer circle. Just get them to the outer limits. Don't have them near you. So stay close to your inner circle. Have them nurture you, you nurture them, and you'll be so much more successful in all aspects of your life. That person, that when you don't feel like smiling that day, they can put a smile on your face. Who is that person that can always put the smile on your face when you don't even feel like it? That's important that you have at least that one person in your life. I hope this helped you. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to keep smiling.